Welcome back. This is Captain Ron coming to you from ronsjarrows.com. Today, I would like to illustrate and demonstrate to you the uh, importance, purpose, and coordination between the rotor disc and the cyclic control. When you fly a gyroplane, when you move the cyclic, you're flying the rotor disc, whether it be cyclic back for climb, cyclic forward for cruise or descent, cyclic left for turn to the left, cyclic right for turn to the right. It's in, very important that you understand the uh, function of the rotor disc, because that's what you fly. Say, for instance, you're going to do a, an initial takeoff. You're on the center line of the runway. You, you want to move the cyclic full forward. That flattens the disc, eliminates, minimizes the drag to pre-rotate. Once you've mechanically spun the rotor blades up to speed and released the pre-rotator, very slowly you move the cyclic full aft and centered, not left, not right, but full aft and centered. As you can see, the rotor disc is, is at a high angle of attack. So as you release the brakes and add power to start your roll down the runway for takeoff, the, the air in your face, the wind in your face and the airspeed is going to continue to increase the rotor speed. And then once the rotor speed is up to a point where the disc has full authority and full lifting ability, then it's going to raise the nose of the gyroplane off the ground. Now, at this point, if you leave the cyclic in the full aft position and add power, the aircraft is going to not only slow down because of the induced drag, the aircraft's going to jump off into the air, nose high, and you roll over. So when you feel the nose becoming light, when you have full aft stick, full aft cyclic, you move the cyclic forward, small increments, and you'll feel the acceleration, and your airspeed will increase, your ground speed will increase, and you will be able to make a good, safe takeoff. Thank you for watching.